uh, opens lower into rising 60 minute support, uh, gets a red to green move, takes out the 1122 highs on the daily parameter and probably going to get uh, a 52 week high. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Again, Happy New Year. Hope everybody uh, had a great uh, holiday season. Okay, hopefully you guys are all well and hopefully you guys are all healthy. Again, health is the most uh, important part. Um, today just wasn't my day, okay? And it wasn't one of those things that I traded poorly. It wasn't one of those things that um, I, you know, I, I did some things that um, I shouldn't have. It was just one of those very, very unlucky days. Um, and it felt like I was completely off today, okay? Um, I felt like I was always a second too late um, or an interval too late, or I missed the interval, and I just kind of mentally didn't didn't grasp what was going on today, uh, and the really big aggression. Usually, um, you know, I'm all over Tesla. I know the levels, everything is all great, and blah 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 blah. Uh, but today was one of those days that number one, the numbers over the weekend were phenomenal, and I woke up this morning and I said, well. Before I even turned on my computer, I said, well, I, I hope Tesla's not, you know, up more than to that 1120 area where we've been macro. Because the last thing I want to do is chase, chase, right? Chase Tesla up, you know, 60, 70 points and yada, yada, yada. The stock opened up at, you know, 11, what was it? 1140s, 1130s. So I said, obviously, there's a, the only value that I want in Tesla, I'm not gonna buy this damn thing into strength of 75 points. Let me wait for a bounce, right? Let me wait for a bounce. And so I waited for a bounce, I waited for a bounce. Uh, this is this is a 60 minute view. So first Tesla got down to, uh, first Tesla got down to the 1141 area. I missed it, I think I was bidding excuse me, I was bidding 40. I think it traded down to 41 right away, put up six, seven points and kind of came back in. Then I was bidding 11, 1133. It traded down to 1136. And then it just went out of its mind. It, it literally went out of its mind for 50, 60 points on the way up. And I had one last chance, literally one last chance uh, to get into Tesla right over here, literally right over here off this 1160 area. And I turned around and I said, well, the stock hasn't really tested a 60 day, 60 rising 60 minute support yet. Let me wait for 1149, okay? I knew 1160 was the bounce, but I wanted a better price because I, I didn't want to believe that I was chasing the price action and yada, yada, yada. It trades perfectly 1160, doesn't even down tick, stops perfectly at 1160. And all the thing does from 1160 to the close is put up another, another 45 points. So I dropped the ball big time today, whether it was just uh, my timing or I was off a little bit. So, you know, it's a little frustrating. It is, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little frustrating. I know a lot of you guys took the bounces, a little bit more aggressive bounces than me. And a lot of you guys are, you know, are along the stock. And again, I'll get to the, where it's supposed to be. I, it's just one of those days that I felt like I was completely just like leaning to the left. I, I, I just couldn't, I didn't feel like myself. And sometimes, you know, luck does play uh, a big part of it, right? It, it really does. Uh, the, you know, trading is a game of inches and sometimes you get it, right? You get it perfectly. And sometimes you will miss it perfectly. And today was just one of those times that I tried to bounce it three separate times. It just didn't get into my spot and it just absolutely exploded. And if you look at Tesla's chart right now, uh, Tesla right now is literally, uh, 
you know, it's trading right above the November 22 highs of uh, 1202. And again, you know, if you look at the 60 minute view, you see the 60 minute view all the way on top, right? I mean, at, at some point tomorrow or the next day or at some point in the next couple of days, this thing should see uh, its all time highs, ridiculous option flow all day. Um, so this thing, if this thing for some reason opens lower tomorrow, there's nothing really even to think about, you know, uh, opens lower into rising 60 minute support, uh, gets a red to green move, takes out the 1122 highs on the daily parameter and probably going to get uh, a 52 week high on Tesla into that area. And as much as you saw today, like 187 point move uh, today in the NASDAQ 100, the one thing, uh, the one thing that um, really stood out today that there was literally a couple of stocks that did very, very well. There was a couple of stocks that showed strength, but not a lot of stocks confirmed technically today. And that was kind of the most important part. Uh, we talked about over the weekend uh, about Netflix, how I like this thing on the short side. Netflix got murdered today. You know, it got absolutely hit today. Uh, even names like all these uh, Bitcoin names, they didn't rally. And a name like, for example, like Coinbase, it closed right at the bottom of the channel today, which looks like it's gonna go lower as well. But if you look at a lot of the names that usually stand out when you have a big macro move, you can see some notable weakness today, which is very, very odd considering if you look at the QQQs, um, you see how they reclaim the five day moving average today. So if you look at names, for example, like Microsoft, what the hell is going on with Microsoft, right? Didn't rally. Netflix, you know, didn't rally. You look at a name, uh, you look at a name like, uh, let's see here, you look at a name, um, Rivian, uh, Rivian didn't rally, TTD didn't rally. And although a name like Amazon has really, really strong bets today, Amazon still needs a lot of work, right? It got rejected last week off the 50 day moving average. And again, we saw really good uh, deep, you know, deep out of the money bets today with some good, uh, good bank behind it. But again, you just, it still needs a lot of work to do. Uh, the names that do look really good is Apple, uh, looks great for tomorrow. Took out all time highs today. I think this is now officially a trillion dollar company. Uh, obviously, any dips in Apple tomorrow into rising 60 minute support needs to be bought or red to green uh, above above today's channel. Uh, that looks uh, really, really good. Uh, when you look at names like AMD as well, right? AMD first close. Uh, over the five day moving average, you see it stopped right at the linear regression. Uh, again, here's another perfect example of a name that needs to be bought tomorrow over today's channel. Looks really, uh, really good. But if you do look at a lot of names that didn't participate, it's kind of like, you know, like, like, the, like the have nots, right? You got the AMCs of the world uh, that this is the first close guys below this whole this whole two week channel here, uh, you can see here the lowest close. Um, if this thing confirms tomorrow, this thing, you know, this thing has room down. We saw pretty big, uh, some pretty good uh, deep out of the money uh, put buying today. This thing, you know, it confirms has room all the way down uh, to $23. Uh, the one name that was very, very odd today, and if missing Tesla wasn't, uh, wasn't enough, here was kind of like the salt in the wound. So, we started watching the video, right? And we, we saw some really aggressive short-term call buyers. They came this, today for the 310s, the 315s, the 320s. I saw some 335s towards the end of the month. The stock was approaching this whole channel here around 307. It started coming in, right? I didn't buy the breakout in, 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 on AMD. It started coming in. I said, hey, you know what? Let me buy... Uh, you know, they're coming in with really aggressive call buying. Let me buy uh, the rising, not 60 minute support, but the rising five minute support. And then this is what happened, right? This is what happened. If you guys remember, the first 45 minutes of the day was very, very odd, right? So this is basically what happened to me, okay? The market went up and then the market went down. This is, this is a $4 candle in queues in seconds. Suffice to say, my bounce on NVIDIA didn't work out, right? It wasn't a huge loss. The point is I lost a couple of bucks in the trade. Obviously, it would have been much better if the futures didn't swan dive four points on the queues in a matter of literally minutes, which I had that little information at the side of my, side of my head, but it did. So the moral of the story today, for me, okay, some days you're the pigeon, some days you're the windshield, 
it's not that it was anything earth shattering to me, but the, between the freakish thing that happened within the first 45 minutes of the day and missing literally every single bounce uh, on Tesla today, watching this thing go up towards it and then at the end of the day into the 1200s, Yes, it just wasn't my day, but it is what it is. Let this be my worst problem in life. Like I, I've said all the time with all the things going on in life between uh, COVID and between, uh, you know, like, like I've been saying for years, you know, kids bo you know, being born into third world countries that don't have water. Again, is this the worst case, case scenario? Again, let this be my worst problem uh, and life would all of a sudden become a lot easier. But again, it is what it is. Just wasn't my day. Uh, it kind of mentally took me out of pretty much everything else. And I just kind of sat there and pouted like a four-year-old that somebody took away their Twinkie um, of all the things that were going on or actually not going on uh, in my trading session. So tomorrow should be a, a better day. So let's talk about, you know, right? let's talk about tomorrow. Obviously, uh, Tesla is going to be uh, in focus, I would be stunned if it didn't gap up tomorrow. Uh, but if it doesn't gap down, it doesn't gap up tomorrow. Then any any weakness, right? Any weakness on Tesla uh, needs to be bought into a rising 60-minute support. I have to assume at some point in the next few days, you're going to see a test of all-time highs of this 1243 area. And if it does rest tomorrow, it will give us a really good opportunity uh, to get some cheaper shares before the stock does uh, eventually take out uh, the 52-week highs, uh, all-time highs, actually. Uh, Lucid. Lucid looks pretty interesting. Uh, looks pretty interesting today. It, started, it traded right to the 50-day moving average today. If it takes out this whole range above the 50-day moving average, some pretty good call volume came in. Uh, short-term, you know, short-term 42s, 45s came in on the stock. All it needs to do is reclaim the 50-day moving average. Uh, but not everything is great, right? Not everything is uh, great. We talked about uh, AMD that I like. Uh, I also like Uber. Look at Uber. Look at the chart on Uber as well. Again, another perfect example. It stopped right into daily supply, the 150-day moving average. If it confirms the daily supply, hey, maybe you get a move to 45, uh, 46. We obviously like uh, uh, AMD, uh, Apple, uh, Tesla, obviously. Uh, Amazon still needs some work to do, uh, but Amazon at least is finally getting a little bit of life. I still think maybe it's a day or two away from kind of waking up and reclaiming macro, but it's something that we definitely want to watch. Not you know, for, not the foremost uh, name I want to pay attention to tomorrow, but w maybe within the next day or so, maybe get a lot of better uh, cleaner path to the goal line. Again, it has to confirm the macro daily chart to, to really wake up. Uh, but look at some names on the short side as well. Look, look at Moderna, right? Look at Moderna. Uh, again, this is the lowest close in this whole formation. If this thing loses the bottom of the channel here, it can go lower. Uh, coin, again, we're watching for tomorrow. Uh, this is the lowest close in this whole formation, this bear flag. If Bitcoin gets hit, maybe this thing gets hit as well. And again, for all you guys who are uh, I forgot what they're called, the, 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 the meatheads, what are they called, um, the dogs, the cats, the apes, the apes, the apes, the apes, apes, right? I, I'm literally, I'm not even making a joke, I just can't remember, uh, AMC, again, the closest, lowest close in this whole formation here, if this thing confirms the channel, you do have, you know, you have a pretty decent move potential uh, in the next couple of weeks, so overall, the market does look good, there's obviously some decent opportunities, I think, on both sides of the market, Hopefully, you know, today I was the windshield. Tomorrow, hopefully, I'll get back on the horse uh, and be the pigeon. Guys, happy new year. God bless. Let this be your worst problem in life. And with God's help, uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.